I've been delivering corporate workshops since 2017 and throughout my career so far, I've worked with some of the biggest companies in the UK, including Aston Martin, Fujitsu, the NHS, Marriott Hotels, Lionsgate Films and many, many more. But how did I get into this industry and what impact have I had in the companies I've worked with? Now to understand how I got started and why I realised this is what I wanted to do, I have to take you back to where it all Begun. In 2013, I graduated from university after studying a degree in sport and exercise rehabilitation, and I wanted to put my degree to use. After three years of education, I was looking for a job in the industry. There was just one problem. I couldn't find a job that was paying a salary good enough to pay rent living in London. So I decided, let me take a year out and go and live in Australia and see if I can get a job there. Fortunately, I had spent my final year of university saving up, working four part-time jobs alongside my degree to help me with enough savings so that when I finish university, I would have some money to give me some breathing space before I started my career. But since I couldn't get a job, Australia sounded like a great idea so I applied for my visa and hopped on a plane and flew to big and sunny Australia. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail about my experience and time in Australia but I am going to tell you the important parts. I was born and raised in London and growing up in London on my way to school I would often see grumpy and miserable people going to work. And if you grew up in London, maybe you had a similar experience. Let me know in the comments. But when I went to Australia, this was a complete culture shock. Overall, people seemed happier and healthier and they didn't seem grumpy like my fellow Londoners. Now I have to say, not all Londoners are grumpy. <laughs> now, while I traveled across Australia, interacting with different people, having different experiences and meeting strangers, my experiences were completely different to those living in London. So I thought to myself, how can I get my fellow Londoners to improve their health and happiness? So I decided that when I get back to London, I'm going to help companies support their staff to improve their health and well-being. But at this stage, there were two problems. How do I approach companies and get them to pay me to support their staff? And two, technically, when I came back to London from Australia, I had nowhere to live. So I formulated a plan. I asked my dad if I could stay on his sofa for a few months while I figured things out. These few months eventually ended up being almost two years. Thanks, dad. But during this time, I went back to a part-time job to help provide me with a little bit of income to help build my business. And on my days off, I went to the library to develop my corporate workshops and study and also work out how I was going to get them in front of companies so that they could improve the happiness and health of their employees. I spent two years building my workshops and building my business until I got my first corporate workshop in 2017. And how I managed to get that was a stroke of luck and hard work. My first corporate client was bird's eye foods. And if you're based in the UK, you probably know them for their fish fingers and their frozen foods, like their peas. Now, what I failed to mention was that when I started my business, I started by offering a range of services. And one of those services was physical therapy. And in those two years, I had built up a solid list of clients who came to see me to help them reduce their aches, pains, and injuries. And I was delivering this a few times a week. And guess where one of those clients worked? Bird's Eye Foods. Now, if I'm honest, when I started delivering corporate workshops, the best way for me to get my workshops in front of companies was through my existing network. Now I get work in a whole range of different ways. But initially, using my connections was the best way to present myself to companies. Now my first workshop went amazingly well. The feedback was great and I very much enjoyed it. But looking back on it now, I was a real amateur. <laughs> now I'm a pro if I do say so myself. But it's taken a while to get here. People often ask, don't you get nervous delivering talks? And honestly, not really. My nerves have faded over over the years as I've built up my experience. Sometimes I get butterflies right before I'm about to deliver a talk, but as soon as I start speaking, 
that fades away. And there are a few ways I've been able to build up my confidence as time has gone on. When I first started public speaking, I would practice on my own in front of a mirror. I would do this over and over again while I was building up my confidence. This helped me to practice my speech, see how I looked while I was talking, and most importantly, build up confidence. I then practice in front of one person to get feedback. My very supportive mother was great for this. And when I started out, I actually delivered some workshops for free. And this did two things. Firstly, it allowed me to get better and improve my delivery skills. It allowed me to test out content and it helped me build my confidence. The second thing it did was help me build connections. Some of the more forward thinking companies actually hired me to deliver paid workshops after experiencing a free workshop. And this was great in the early stages of my career. Now, I don't often do free workshops anymore, but I occasionally deliver free webinars and provide free resources. And if your workplace want free resources to help support the health and well-being of their employees, join the free mailing list. The link's in the description box. And if you found this video interesting or useful so far, do me a favor and press the like button. Now, since I've been delivering wellness talks, I can honestly say I love what I do. The buzz of a talk or a workshop where I can see people resonating is incredible for me. Knowing that I'm positively impacting the lives of others brings meaning and purpose to my day. And when people come up to me at the end of sessions and express their appreciation, or when the workshops bring some incredible stories of human connection and purpose, it brings me joy. But sometimes, during workshops, the unexpected happens. And not long ago, during a workshop, there was one employee who ended up in tears. To find out how I made this employee cry, you need to watch this video right here. <laughs> 